Hello, my name is David Adeoye Abodori, your futurist, agile coach, life coach. My assignment today, like I said, is to actually help you to prepare for the future that's uncertain, that's volatile, complex, and very ambiguous. My good friends, the year 2024 has the nascent characteristics and the of, of being volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous, and the nations and the governments of the earth are also very confused. What should you do? I told you, I said there is the place in 2024, the discernment of when to do nothing, when to actually sit back and observe. And in observation, there is the way to observe. You cannot observe while there is motion at the same time. So you have to stop. You have to stop. How do you stop? You stop. You stop. You stop. How do you stop? By first of all stopping. Finding a time to disconnect. And your moment of disconnect, drain yourself and your business and everything around you of previous lines of action. So 2024 is the year to master intervals. If you want to take a week or two weeks or 30 days, which is one month, X period by your choice, you will choose deliberately to mark the ground for review across the year. My counsel is that the answers you come up with and the insights that you would get will be personal and the kind of endeavor you are involved in and what makes sense to you will determine what intervals you should choose. But choose the interval, my good friend, and find time to disconnect. And in disconnecting, it's not empty wait time. After you've disconnected, it's time to find out what went well, particularly with the collaborations of the previous weeks, months, and years. What went well? And what do we need to improve? How do we gather insights specifically for these collaborative energies of the future that we will do? Based on the lessons learned, you can now begin to plot information and intel in preparation for a higher level of collaboration. I call that one collaboration 2.0 or partnership 2.0 where you are coming from a place of insight and a place of having failed and the wisdom of failure now turns to the success of tomorrow 2024 belongs to those who are able to take time to do this self-inflection and those who don't have this time either as individuals as teams as businesses as countries as continents entities that would fail a lot will not have this period of introspecting and having a combination and recombination of the rest period continuously so that they are able to plot the graphs and observe themselves. You will find out that there are no sentiments. What collaborative efforts should you drop? What collaborative capitals must you now look for? What recombinations should you now consider? What entire things should you never look at again? What should you file for the future? How should you reorganize? How should you re-engineer? Who again can you speak to? The list and the questions are very long. You must spend your period of doing nothing to do that introspection, your weekends, your time in between jobs, the time you deliberately to disconnect from your desk to take a walk, those will be the moments when genius will be better for you and your family and your friends in 2024 and the coming decades. I will encourage you to subscribe to my channel and share with family and friends. I would like to hear from you in the comments what you think about the future series for 2024. My assignment is to prepare you for the coming days. Hit me with an email or send me a message via the comment and I'm sure to respond to you. I look forward to 2024 being the best year possible. Shalom. Ciao. To your best 2024 ever. To the best year for you and your friends and family ever. See you at the next episode.